Hi, I'm Donna Stanger. I've been developing software for 14 years and was a teacher for 20 years before that. I've always been fascinated by how children learn and how we can help them. In the explore and discover mode of little, middle, and big, many children enjoy putting shoes on a character that don't fit just to see the character's reaction. In the question and answer mode, children are encouraged to keep trying until they find a pair of shoes that fit just right. Hints such as too large or too small may be ignored by very young children, but as they begin to understand size and size words, they use these hints to modify their answers. In Build-A-Bug, Children use the computer as a tool to build their own unique bugs. Although this feels like play, they are seeing numerals, hearing the numerals spoken, and seeing the quantities that those numerals represent. From their earliest experiences, children form beliefs and attitudes about control and responsibility. Viewing the computer as a tool they can control rather than something that controls them impacts their understanding of technology and their perception of learning as an active rather than a passive experience. Children begin counting by just saying the numbers for fun. The words are familiar, and saying them in a steady rhythm is pleasing. At first, the numbers may not be in any particular order, but children learn the order as they hear the correct sequence repeated. Real counting comes later, when children begin to associate a number with a quantity. When counting with your child, you might like to follow the sequence used in the number machine. One, two, three, three books. Help your child understand counting and numbers by counting together as often as you can. Some children will click everything on the screen, wondering what they can make happen. Other children hesitate because they aren't sure what to do. Keep in mind that if there were no question of what to do, your child would not be having a problem-solving experience. You can promote a spirit of curiosity and discovery by encouraging your child to experiment. Ask your child, what will happen if you click on the green hand? Then try it to see what does happen. You may want to explain that this is how scientists work. They guess and then they test. Young children will use trial and error as they attempt to follow a blueprint. Since the name of each shape is spoken, children will become familiar with the names of geometric shapes as they play. Dragging a shape with a mouse requires a fairly high level of eye-hand coordination. If dragging is difficult for your child, don't be concerned. Encourage the use of dragging, but relax your expectations. Enjoy watching your child gradually develop this skill. The question and answer mode of Mouse House does not require dragging, so you may want to alternate between the two modes as your child's comfort with dragging increases. Dorothy the Duck is a patient playmate, encouraging children to use the language we call mathematics. Young children love guessing games, so your child is challenged to read the number sentence that Dorothy is thinking about and put the same number of objects on the stage. Manipulating objects to express numerals or number sentences like 6 plus 3 or 9 minus 4 help your child build a concrete understanding of number, addition, and subtraction. From a very early age, children begin to experience and enjoy repetition and patterns. Babies delight in the game of dropping a toy, hearing it fall, having it picked up, and then repeating the sequence again and again. 
Later, children can recognize a simple pattern like triangle square, triangle square. As children gain more experience, they can sort out patterns of three, four, or even more things. With Bing and Boing, children learn about both auditory and visual patterns by observing, completing, and creating. All of us at Edmark want to share our love of learning with you and your child. Our goal is to ensure that if Edmark's name is on the product, there's a world of learning inside. You are your child's first teacher. The more you understand about learning, the more you understand about how your child learns, the more you can contribute to your child's lifelong learning success. Much of the time, your child will view you as the source of all information. Try to balance this with times when you become a learning partner to your child. Let your child see you learn. There is no better way to teach than to model the behavior that you want your child to adopt. When young children interact with computers, from the earliest possible age, we want the locus of control to be placed with the child. We want children to recognize the computer is a tool that can help them learn, but that they are in charge of that learning, not the computer. With this sense of control comes great empowerment and a real sense of responsibility for their own learning. Each child is unique. Each has his or her own set of distinct learning preferences. For example, most children are fairly balanced in their preference for auditory or visual input, but some children strongly prefer one or the other. Which does your child learn and remember better, what is seen or what is heard? Become an observer of your child's learning style. This information will be valuable in the years ahead. Some children learn better when they direct their own learning. Some learn better with more prompting and direction. Our early learning software makes both types of experiences available by offering both explore and discover and question and answer modes for most activities. From your child's point of view, here's how it works. Activities that have both modes will always have a little picture frame with an animal in it. As long as the animal stays in the frame, your child is in charge. Your child directs the learning, chooses what to explore, what to discover. This is divergent, self-directed learning. If your child lets the little animal out of the picture frame, the activity switches into question and answer mode. Now the animal will ask your child questions and gently prompt your child to persist until a correct answer for each question is found. This is convergent, directed learning. Watch as your child plays with the software. You might notice more time being spent in either explore and discover mode or in question and answer mode. Again, this is valuable information that you now have about your child's learning preferences. We all want the very best for our children. We hope for their success in school and throughout life. Early on, our children base so much of what they believe on what we believe. The real head start that you can give your child is your consistent message of unconditional positive belief that he or she will succeed. That message says to your child, I know you can do it.